the phrase corporate owned media is a, a handy cliche which is um, not really, uh, which, which needs to be understood. It is clear that the major tele commercial television networks have become owned by conglomerates uh, and the ownership has, has nothing to do with news even though NBC, ABC, CBS are all owned by conglomerates now. But the major newspapers of this country that are responsible for the vast amount of um, groundbreaking coverage, foreign correspondence, anything you can think of, were family-owned newspapers. They're not corporate newspapers. They're owned by the Graham family, the Salzberger family, the Los Angeles Times used to be owned by the Chandler family, the Wall Street Journal was also family-owned until Mr. Murdoch bought it. And those papers are different. They are at the center of American journalism. They all were families that had a, obviously wanted to make money, they're in business to make money, but they all had a sense of public good, of public interest, and they were all uh, uh, isolated to a degree that other corporations are not from the pressures of Wall Street, from the demand for higher quarterly profits uh, forever. And those are, the news, those, new, those are the newspapers that are at the center of American journalism and that are also now threatened, uh, but they're different. It's, it's, you need to understand that. They're, it's not the Gannettes of the world or the Disneys of the world. These are different organizations, and that's what's, to me, at, um, at risk, is newspapers of this quality and caliber, uh, which, in effect, set the agenda for television. Uh, and set the agenda for much that's on the web for discussion purposes uh, are at risk. And I think that's a real danger, uh, not because of profits or anything like that, but just in terms of the amount of information that can be put together in a, in a, in a package every day. So corporate-owned media is a term that applies in some cases and does not apply in others.